Hey guys, Herblin here with a brand new series of The Curious Expedition. It's a game that I've been meaning to play for a little while and get back into uh, for some time now. Uh, this game's actually coming out very soon out of uh, the pre-alpha version and going to 1.0, so I'm super excited about that and I just learned about that the other day. So I've been getting really excited about this game and I really wanted to play it again. So without too much more, I'm, I'm just going to jump right into it. And I'm just going to start off as uh, Charles Darwin... Actually, you know what? We have a couple options here. We have Ranch Richard Francis Burton. We have Charles Darwin. We have Mary Curie. Mary Kingsley. And Nikola, Te uh, Nikola Tesla. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go with Richard Francis Burton. He gets a uh, native scout and a British soldier to follow him around, which is, is kind of handy. Having that extra little bit of fight with you. Um, he has whiskey, some torches, some ropes and some spears. So he has a little bit of extra fight with them, which is really super, super useful in the beginning. So welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expedition? Blah, blah, blah. I missed that. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeliness on the statue, however. I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove your worth and who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now go and explore. Adventure awaits. Hmm... Certain death tourist trip. You know, I'm going to go with uh, Expedition. I'm going to go with Medium. I don't want to quite just get mangled and murdered for the sake of the uh, Let's Play. But let's do this on, on at least Medium. I can't go easy, right? So, looks like our first Expedition is going to be the Horrible Jungle. A well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. So after being too excited to sleep, I boarded the ship with little time before the ship would be ready. So imagine what my visage would look like on the society statue. Sister Beatrice, Beatrice, that's a weird name, approached me this morning. She had decided to leave Britain and requested that we accompany her to a nearby native village. Once we arrived at the destination in order to spread the word of God. So it sounds like a, a mercenary, or a, not a mercenary, <laughs> a missionary coming with us. Uh, for the sake of the poor savages of the distant land that we're going to. So they can get some kind of religion. A little bit weird. So I accepted since I would gladly do my part to help spread the word of God. I rejo rejoiced as the ship was f uh, prepared to sally forth. So let's set sail. This game is really cool. It's a hexagon uh, based map. All about exploration. All about uh, some weird little narratives and exploration. Total adventure. It's a lot of fun. It is permadeath. It is a bit of a roguelike. So there is permadeath in this game. If you if you fail and you die, that's it. You're starting all over again. But that's part of the fun, right? So in the thick mist of a rainy morning, one of the crew called Land Ahoy. I was curious to discover what adventures were waiting for us here. So we can access the ship storage. Uh, let's refill on water. And I don't think anything's in the ship. No. So I insisted we secure the best possible tools for the quest that faced us. Rude preparation was essential for our task. However, I was beginning to feel the urge to head out into the unknown. Let's begin our expedition. So, Sister Patricia has pinpointed the location of the village that she wants to reach on our map. So it's right over here. We just got to do a little bit of a detour. So we have these numbers that you're going to notice that pop up when we start trying to walk somewhere. And you can see this 110 up at the top. That's our sanity meter. If that goes under and we start going nuts, um, like if that goes under and we run out of that meter, our people can start, you know, trying to kill each other, eat each other. It, it just becomes, it's like a really bad thing. You don't want to run out of that sanity meter. You're really risking a lot every step you take once that meter runs out that something terrible is going to happen. So let's enter the hut that we found. We entered an unusual looking hut. The interior was particularly musty, with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. So let's ask for a cleansing. We can trade with him. Let's see if he, he'll do a cleansing for us. The shaman was willing to offer us his services, but demanded remuneration up front. This guy needs cash. He promised that after his ritual, the patient would be cured of all types of mental demons, though we don't need that, so fuck it. Let's just get the fuck out of here. That guy's an asshole. It's a tourist trap, guys. Let's go. Oh! Oh, uh, you know, I already started this. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. That was really stupid of me. Oh, well. Let's see what's down here. 
Enter the stone circle. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into the, each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. Hmm. Camp points or... Let's reveal... Hmm. Let's reveal ruins. So is that... You've defiled this place. That guy is not happy about that. He doesn't like that we've just done that. What an idiot. Who cares? I don't care about that guy. He's an asshole. So, it's still going to be quicker if we go up and around than if we go through the thick jungle. You can see here, it's going to take us 42 just to get there. And 30 to go this way. So, yeah, let's go up and around. There's a hyena down there as well. Now this compass, the more that we explore, actually points towards our final destination of where we need to end up. Um, so the more that we explore in a map, the more accurate that compass is. I think on the first map it's fairly accurate though, right at the get-go. So we encountered a tribe that looked like best, the best scouts known to this region. I could smell that they had just prepared food. The villagers kindly beckoned us over and offered us some of their freshly cooked food. So let's take what we can. Uh, natives observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help us in our cause. I knew the language of these people and soon was able to communicate. So let's deliver the missionary. We accompanied the missionary to the village chief who wanted to reward us with information about the permanent landmarks to look upon the region, including a holy shrine which he marked on our map. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. So, that's kind of cool. Let's do a quick rest here. As darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit down with them. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders gave us a serious look and asked if we knew who had created humankind. So we could influence these guys a little bit, I guess, telling them a little bit about our culture. So, mm, let's say evolution, see what happens when, he, when we try to explain a bit of science to him. We explained to him that, in our opinion, humans were a natural result of evolution. He nodded quietly, and he listened to our explanation. Let's go to sleep. So we recovered a bit of sanity just from going to bed here. The night was quiet and peaceful. The following morning was bright and sunny, a perfect day for new adventures. We felt more than welcome, and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. We can definitely wear that out, though. If we stay too long, they are not happy about it after some time. So, let's see what they have to trade. We can get some jewels. Can we give them their meat for jewels? We can. Hmm. We can trade those in for fame or cash once we're done this exploration, too, which is kind of funny. So let's do it. Let's trade a bit of their own meat back for some gems. And we'll leave. I told the men to pack up and head it out as new adventures awaited us. Yeah, so let's eat that meat. We're up here, so we're doing actually really good on sanity. Let's take a trek down to this uh, these ruins down here. Now, if you're wondering with these ropes, these ropes actually are going to help us climb up hills like this, I think. Let's see, does one get used? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess ropes are just certain time in some of the dungeons or some of the uh, encounters you can use them. I know with dynamite you can blow up mountains and with some of the other things like machetes it helps you get through some of the uh the wilderness areas like some of the thicker jungle areas all right so let's take a look see what's in here at the shrine so examine shrine we arrived at a majestic structure seemingly a holy shrine to the inhabitants of the reacher of the region it was a bold testament to the powers of its creators grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway the structure showed some long cracks, but it seemed safe enough to explore. So we might get to use a rope here. Let's enter the shrine. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its center. Oh, there's some really cool stuff here. So let's throw out all this water. Screw it. We can get more water. I don't really give a shit about it. And let's take... Oh man, that's so cool. These are just worth a little bit of funds. Value 5, funds 30. Yeah, let's take this shit. This stuff's way cooler. We could throw out these or we could throw out our old spears or some torches. You know, I'm going to throw out these torches. Screw it. I would not leave empty-handed. The treasure was to be mine. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We hurried outside as the shrine tumbled in our wake and huge mountains erupted from the ground. I wonder why some of that's highlighted, what the red means. Maybe it's just some kind of variable? Not too sure. Loyalty increased. 
That guy, his loyalty seems to go up when we drink. He must be an alcoholic. We can promote him, though. We want a good, good fighter, especially with that hyena here. So, it's pointing to go north. I kind of want to go hit up that hyena real quick, though. Yeah, that's probably not going to turn out so great for us, but let's do it anyways. Let's see. Can we catch it? Can we kill it? Or are we just going to waste a bunch of time on it? Attack! Oh shit, so there's two. Three rolls left. So this combat system is really cool. Let's pull up the knife on him. Um, it's kind of like Yahtzee. Like you can, I don't know if anybody's ever played Yahtzee, but you can really kind of hold on to different dice and try to stack up as much damage as you can. You can also kind of lose it as well. So you want to stack up as many uh, combos as you can, but once you use the dice, it's, it's over. It's kind of garbage. You'll see as I play. I'm sure you'll kind of catch on to what's going on with it. So now it's their turn to attack. Oh, he's taking some damage. Oh, and we can throw in these spear dice too. We get an extra attack out of that. I forgot about that. So we can use spear defense. And that's going to give us some defense. That's a really good thing to have. So we got a plus two defense. So if they come in for the attack, we've got something. Uh, let's hold on to these. What else are we going to get out of this? Nothing good. Hmm. So we're just going to go with the double attack, and we can't do anything with that on its own. So it's up to them to attack us again. They hit us for another two damage. Let's use... Hmm. You know, I want to hold onto that knife, onto that uh, sword, but damn, I just wasted it. Spear attack. Four damage. Killed it. Gained 15 sanity. Lost a standing. We deprive the dead of anything useful. We get some meat and pelts. Uh, hmm. Let's take all this. These aren't worth too much. The pelts are worth something. A little bit of value. Hmm, those are worth 10 value. And two fame. These are worth 15. There's two of each, so let's keep that. Now we gotta get rid of some stuff. Let's use up the raw meat. Does that... Can we eat that? Or do we gotta cook it? We gotta cook it. Damn it. That's too bad. Let's throw it on the ground then. All right, so let's start heading northeast. It's going to take us 40 sanity to go this far. Let's see where this takes us. So our compass is pointing northeast. Our destination that we want to reach is somewhere in this direction. Here it is. We can see the Golden Temple picking through the tree line here. Uh, now before we go, let's quickly... We've got enough sanity to trip over here real quick. See what this is all about. Oh, we just got a rash. We shouldn't have went there. That's Ebola right there. Oh, now we're walking without sanity. What's happening? Anxiety spread amongst the group. We discovered that Matu had been so nervous that she dropped an item during the previous leg of the journey. So she dropped all the fucking rope and a spear. Like, what an idiot. Let's get the fuck out of here. The majestic golden pyramid rose above its environment. The sweet smell of achievement. I should not have went towards that goddamn mosquito. That just gave us some kind of gross rash and uh, lost us a bunch of equipment. That was really kind of... Oh, well. So the majestic pyramid rose above the environment, the sweet smell of achievement. We enter the pyramid after the hardship of ex after the hardship extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew that the name Richard Francis Burton would be written about long after I departed this life. Finish the expedition, we can open the port. Let's see what this is. So we get points for our current fame, our speed bonus, I guess we were first, and for discovering the golden pyramid. Oh that's going to open up. Open a report actually opens up a uh, a wind, like a browser. Wow, that's really loud. So kind of you. Each one of these perks is something really useful to have. I'm going to go with the cult vision. That's going to help us out the most. So where are we? We are way behind these other two. So Dion Fortune. Okay, so we still got these things that we can give to the museum, though. So we can get funds for this or fame. Let's gift this to the museum for some fame to catch up with these guys. Uh, we still got these. Let's sell the gems. We'll gift these to go further ahead, and these are just worth a little bit of extra money. So now we're trailing quite far ahead of Dion Fortune and HP Lovecraft 
and uh, Tesla and Marie Curie are way, way behind us. So that's great. So I'm going to save it for now here. Um, this is a good place to call the end of the video. But you guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment or uh, at least leave a like in, in the section below. Any kind of feed like, feedback like that, it really helps me out a lot. Uh, I really like hearing from you guys and your support means so much to me. Uh, thanks so much again, guys, for watching and stay tuned for more videos.